What's going on RPS squad welcome to a brand new installment of a serum tutorial and in this tutorial we are going to be making this sound <laughs> So pretty awesome, right? Um, there's going to be a lot of different kinds of modulation here. As you can see, just by the wave tables, we have some pulse width modulation. We have filter modulation. Um, we have frequency modulation. All sorts of good stuff that you guys are going to learn a lot about. Um, but really, what I want you guys to take away from this is um, how I'm utilizing the different... Um, not only these waveforms that I almost never touch until today <laughs> when I made this bass these pulse width modulation um, these PWM sort of you want to call it this sync you know all this awesome things that you typically skip over by the way guys I do need a new MIDI keyboard a new microphone as well as a new launch pad so if you have any suggestions drop them down in the comment section below because I will be reading that and I want to know. Also, if you guys want to hook me up, go ahead and uh, hook me up, send me an email or something, you know, free stuff. But let's go ahead and jump right into this. Okay, so we are going to be using a um, two oscillator setup as well as some white noise or, you know, just some extra sound. So we can go ahead and turn on that noise and maybe just turn on the level a bit. And, you know, we get two initialized oscillators. Um, the first one we are going to be running as the signal oscillator for the FM and basically the signal oscillator uh, is going to be the oscillator that the FM or the frequency modulation is going to be running off of. So between the two we have the host and the signal and oscillator A is going to be the signal. And we have PWM inception. Okay and this is what it sounds like. Oh wait let me drop this. And as you can see, as it says pulse width, we are, as we move this wave to a position, we do have some modulation in the width of the waveform. It's almost stretching it apart. Bringing us into oscillator B, the host, which is going to end up being a PWM MDC. MDC. And this is what we get. So, you know, pretty generic sounds right here. Nothing that at first glance you would think you would be able to do with, um, like a dubstep bass, for example. But from here, we are going to turn on our frequency modulation from A. Now, since the audio is going to be reliant on the knob or the frequency modulation amount here, we can just drop that volume all the way down here. Um, from there, we get, as we turn this up, that kind of brings us to kind of find that sweet spot. Now if we turn this off, right here we're not going to get too good of sound since the waveform, you know, there's not much information in this particular frame. So as we bring it down we can kind of get it to, uh, let's say, 104. And from there, since it is a metallic base, we can go ahead and jump this oscillator up, or this octave. Wait, what, what am I saying? That, I don't know what I'm saying. But drop this octave up one, one octave. So. Now we're getting somewhere, right? Um, as we kind of move this wave tilt position, right at this spot can you see that it is basically a square waveform but the only difference is that um, it's not filling up the full cycle so yeah we could leave that that and for this as far as this FM goes we can go ahead and put this to about here this is good it really is that sweet spot that is dependent on um, by the way, we can stick on a macro. This is what I did. Just turn it up. But as you can see, right now our sound is really starting to form. Um, into the what we're going to be doing here. This is I did a little shape like this to <laughs> kind of keep this 
um, for the shape to follow or the sound to follow. A um, little something, something. Try and make this as quick as possible. Uh, you guys can do the same. It really doesn't matter. And from here, first things first, we are going to drop this onto the global master amp. Um, this is basically the amp. Oops. Okay, that was probably this is like the master volume. So this knob essentially. Um, this is what all the sound is processing through. All the sounds in this global section are doing that same, whether it be master tune or the amp. So we just go ahead and turn this up, turn it all the way, turn this type to go back and forth additive. So we get <laughs> a little bit way too loud there, but. Okay, so um, it is missing a lot of harmonics, and this is where the sync comes in. Um, see how that just completely warps the sound and does add in those extra higher harmonics into the bass? It sounds awesome right now, doesn't it? Um, we're just going to turn this to about... That sounds sexy. What do you guys think? <laughs> okay. We are going to throw on a flanges section, and this is going to be a phaser um, modeled filter here, which is, oh, actually, you know what we can do here? We're going to go ahead and modulate this. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. All right, so we're going to turn this on for both oscillator A, oscillator B, and the noise. So obviously it's a low pass so we're not getting anywhere with that we're going to stick that to a phaser 24 positive okay we're good I just had to go ahead and double check my little cheat sheet uh, <laughs> and right now it just comes down to finding that sweet spot because these frequencies that, that uh, these frequencies that's cutting out um, do See this boost, the frequencies that it's cutting out provide um, a nice little uh, touch. It's almost like a double notch filter or a notch filter, the frequencies that it's cutting out, but it is just emulating a phaser. So yeah, turn this up, turn that up a bit, the resonance, so we got a pretty harsh effect. I love turning up drive on my filters as it does, it does really just promote a nice, um, a nice distorted bass without having to distort it too much. All right, so getting into the effects section, first things first, we turn on a hyper or a dimension. So the hyper, we just turn this down. And of course, we got to turn up that size. Low size, high mix, okay? Next, we are going to dump on Let's see, what are you guys feeling? I'm feeling a compressor. Turn on on to multiband. And one thing that the multiband compressor does do is um, is as it is balancing out and putting essentially putting everything into equilibrium or this EQ. I shouldn't say equilibrium, that's not right. It's not the right term, but it is balancing out the frequencies. Um, it is kind of taking away from this whole amp modulation so we can drop this threshold to about negative uh, let's go negative negative 25 somewhere around there uh, decibels and we could go ahead and make this go back up to what was that negative 18 so and then we of course turn up that gain just a tad bit All right, now we're getting somewhere. Um, this next piece is going to be the EQ. Drop that right under the compressor. And the EQ really shapes up the sound. So first things first, we turn on this curve. This, um, we could just leave it like that. It's actually perfect. Actually, maybe turn on the Q factor just a tad bit because it is peaking that spot. As well as, um, as we're almost doing the same thing here, but not cutting out nearly as many frequencies.
All right, that sounds much better, doesn't it? Okay, now we are going to jump into our, let's see here. Disto. Yeah, let's get into our distortion. Um, now for distortion, as far as that goes, we just want to turn that drive down a tad bit. And right now we're just kind of forming the sound um, that we played earlier. So, um, finally, we are going to throw on a basic filter. This is going to be a high pass 24, and high pass 24s are awesome for emulating a vocal sound, as it does open up a lot of the higher end or cut or it, it, yeah, it does open up the higher end, closes out the lower end, and goes whack. <laughs> okay, that was you guys are probably cringing the hell out of that, but um. Yeah, really it just comes down to sticking this on here. Oh, my bad. Throw on a low frequency oscillator number two. And we, let's see, we have this running for one bar. We're going to run this for one bar as well. And make this go like... And that's how you make the sound. Isn't that easy? And it's awesome too. So I hope you guys found out a lot of different techniques. You know, these are often overlooked, these pulse width modulated waveforms, but you can do so much with them. And that's what I want to teach you guys in this video that, you know, the possibilities are endless in X for Records Serum. So if you guys like this video, make sure you drop a like, drop a sub if you haven't already, because it does mean the world to me when I see a subscriber. Um, but yeah, go ahead and drop your comments below what mic, MIDI, launch pad, um, whatever, okay? Because I do got a lot of work that I got to do in my studio, and I will be doing a little studio preview. It may be a little bit of a giveaway at the end of this, okay? So thank you so much for watching this video. Um, that's going to wrap things up today. I'm out.